So we've got the brand new MacBook Pros, like the 14 inch MacBook Pro that I have here with an M1 Pro chipset inside it. But we've also got Windows 11 Preview out there. And in fact, there's a Windows 11 Preview for ARM64 sort of chipsets. The kind of chipsets that are like inside the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro, the M1 Max, and even the standard M1. So today I'm gonna to be testing Windows 11, the ARM64 version on Parallels, on this MacBook Pro 14 inch. Hi guys, it's Matt here. So that's right, today I'm gonna to be demoing basically Windows 11 running on an M1 Pro MacBook Pro 14 inch model. So this MacBook Pro, the M1 Pro chips that I've got inside it, because there's so many different versions you can pick, this is the standard one. This is the one with the 10 cores inside it, two efficiency cores, and also eight performance cores. It's got a 16 core GPU, and it's also got 16 gigabytes of RAM allocated to this machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all show you how to get Windows 11 downloaded and then after this I'm going to power up Parallels and we're going to have a little bit of a fiddle around in Windows 11. Well let's get started and I'm going to start recording my screen for this. So first of all guys what you'll need to get is Parallels and actually what you need to get is Parallel 17. I'm just going to open it up here. I've actually installed it already and I just want to quickly show a look at the screen in a second but let's have a look at this. If you click about Parallels it needs to be Parallels Desktop 17 for Mac or later. It has to be version 17 to make this run with Windows 11. Now as I close that this is a very important message as you can see with the installation assistant here. It says here that it's recognized that I've got an Apple M1 chip set inside it well actually I don't if I show you here we show you you can actually see I've actually got an Apple M1 Pro and just in case for you geeky guys out there this is an M1 Pro with the 10 cores so the two efficiency cores eight performance cores and I've also got a 16 core GPU and there's also 16 gigabytes of RAM inside this machine I've got right here just close that down but as you can see like I said it's recognized that I've got a Apple silicon chipset as it were and then you can see here you can click on this and this will actually take you to a guide on how to download um, basically the ARM version the one that will work with uh, basically an M1 chipset or M1 Pro or M1 Max inside that and then what you need to do is you need to register for the Windows Insider program if you haven't done that already I already have done that and then what you need to do is click the download the installation file and like I said if you've already signed in and everything you should be able to download this straight away so it's just going to load this page now, as you can see here straight away, I'm not signed in. So I'm just going to sign in and we'll come back to this page again. Oh, there we go. It's actually recognized I've now signed in. It's a bit odd, but you can see here, it says here, download the Windows Client ARM 6 to 4 inside preview. So I'm going to click on this. And there we go. It's going to start to download. So I'm going to leave that download. And then once completed, we'll go back to Parallels. So with that preview downloaded, what we want to do is go back to the installation assistant, click continue, and we want to say it's a create a new, just leave it as it is, click continue again, and this time we want to actually select the file. So I'm going to select it here, it's in my download, there it is, the VHDX, so I'm going to select that, click open, and what should happen now, it should recognize this file, there we go, Windows 11, and it's going to try doing the installation. So I'm going to click continue. Now I've got the choice of what I want to use this for, so I can either use it for productivity or games only. I'm actually going to say games only, just for the fun of it, to give more resources over. It tells me how much space it's going to use, it's also going to make a desktop sort of shortcut for me, and I can also customize the settings before installation. So hopefully it'll allow me to do that in a second once it's complete. So let me just speed this along. And now we can configure bits and pieces. So I'm going to leave the hard drive as it is, this is absolutely fine. So let's just go into some more options here, the hardware. So for example, we can change this now. It says for this max, we can use five CPUs, eight gigabytes of RAM or anything else we can do that. We can actually change this um, if we wanted to. Oh, at least I thought I could. There we go. So I'm gonna actually say, I want to use six processors and out of my 16 gigabytes of RAM, I'm actually gonna allocate eight gigabytes of it. In fact, no, let's turn it up. Let's go to 10 gigabytes. And then with the graphics, uh, we can change Choose basically if we want it scale, best return, and that kind of bits and pieces. So I'm going to leave it at scaled as uh, probably the best option for that. Uh, so with everything else, I'm absolutely fine. So I'm just going to lock that padlock, 
close it down and there we go six cpus 10 um memory on that one so i think we're all good to go so in fact i thought i just changed those cores actually let me just change that again i swear i used more so i'm just gonna put my password back in did I actually say I wanted more? No, I couldn't. I can only go up to a maximum of six cores anyway um, with this uh, M1 Pro with 10 cores inside it. But never mind. We're going to click continue. I'm happy with that, uh, with this. Oh, it says it can't um, start with more than eight gigabytes of memory. <laughs> let's change it around. Learning curve here, guys. So let's go with eight, then six cores. Is that going to make it happy? That's made it happy. There we go. It says I'm going to use my uh, webcam. I'm fine with that. My microphone, Bluetooth, and everything else it's going to need access to. It's more happier now. So there we go, guys. Learning lesson there. You cannot change the RAM up to uh, more. Uh, it won't allow me. Even though this machine has 16 gigabytes of RAM, as I showed you. And it's also got 10 uh, cores inside it. I'm guessing it's keeping those efficiency cores, I guess, on the actual uh, MacBook Pro for Mac OS. And it's keeping two of the actual performance cores as well. So fingers crossed that uh, six out of the eight uh, performance cores have gone over to Windows 11 here. So we're just going to let this run. This is all looking good so far so i'm going to let this boot up now and get to the main page and there we go we've loaded up oh there we go it even says it installation complete let's click to continue so this looks promising uh, it's asking me to sign in to uh, parallels account um, i'm just going to sign into this very very quickly so just bear with me there we go i'm all signed in and it's flicked to full screen straight away it even says it's entered full screen for games press ctrl alt to access the dock and menu bar so i might actually do that just to show you guys so i'm just going to do ctrl and um, alt together if it does it Oh, there we go. So we do actually have it here, the bar at the top. So there we go. We can see that we're inside. And just to show you again, this is me on my Apple M1 Pro on this one, the 14-inch MacBook Pro, running uh, Windows 11 as a virtual machine. So there are some updates that need to run onto this machine. I'm going to leave that go. But I thought I'd just show you quickly. We'll do a quick a about this machine if we can. My mouse is really quick. So that's the first thing actually I will change because it is super fast. I'm just going to go down to the search here, type in mouse and I'm going to change the speed of that to a little bit more slower that's a bit more better and then something else what we're also going to do we're just going to do about this machine as well so if I just type in about about your PC and there we go if we come down here we have Apple Silicon 3.2 gigahertz six cores that we set up eight gigabytes of RAM everything seems to be working really really well on this it even says here it's in parallels arm virtual machine it recognizes everything we've got settings here for gaming apps and everything like that everything seems to be working fine but on the internet already so you know if i can just want to talk, i could go to youtube to a search there uh, this is in good old-fashioned microsoft edge probably not the best thing in the world i'm going to agree to the settings there but yeah you can see that's working and loading absolutely fine so let's see what else we've got on here so i actually haven't had a play around with windows 11 yet so the new start button is really cool it's now in the middle and everything comes up here these are your sort of well used or pinned apps we've got we've got all apps here it's the traditional kind of feed here uh, so that seems all really really cool here it looks like it's a much more watered down version of windows 10 um, as well uh, we've also got my mac files here so i can access this through icloud and things like this it's really good that parallels have linked those we've got updates pending and everything so yeah this looks really good this uh, windows 11 like i said what i want to plan to do with this windows 11 uh, sort of pro inside the preview what you can see down here is install some games on it test that out also put on office as well just to show you guys uh, also do a benchmark in fact let's actually run a benchmark actually actually that's what i will do i will run a benchmark here with my six cores and eight gigabytes of ram so let me just go and download geekbench 5. So just in case you were wondering, there's been no additional drivers I need to install anything. Parallels 17 has got everything built in for these M1s, M1 Pros, and also M1 Max chipsets. Everything has just been working fine. I've had noises, I've had sounds, you can even see here, I've got my volume and everything. Nothing's blocked out or grayed out. Everything seems absolutely fine. So I'm just loading up Geekbench 5 on the tryout now for the first time, and then we're gonna see how good um, of a Geekbench score we're gonna get on this machine. 
Uh, so asking for a license, I don't have one, but I'm just going to run um, a CPU benchmark on Arc64. So let's leave this run, and then at the end, let's see what the score is. So let's just do a quick pause from Windows 11 for the giveaway what we're doing on this channel. And it's for this. It is for an iPhone 13 Pro Max. And I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber when we get over 300,000 subscribers. And it's not that far away from now. And all I want to know from you guys in the comments below is what Apple equipment are you planning to buy or what technology equipment are you planning to buy within the next year? Write it down in the comments below, and when we get over 300,000 subscribers, and only when we get over 300,000 subscribers, I'll be making a video revealing who the winner is. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell, because you'll want to get that notification of when that video comes live. Now, I will quickly just say this. Sadly, there are some scammers, spammers out there who are pretending to be me, using kind of my picture and saying, what's at me, you've won a prize and all of this ignore them they're spammers they're scammers like i said i'll be only revealing who the winner is by doing a video and basically making sure that you're getting that notification for that video well guys let's go back now to windows 11 on this macbook pro 14 inch model so the Geekbench is actually finished, and that's quite funny actually, with the six cores, it's come out at 7,069. That is about the power of a MacBook Pro Intel i9, uh, without um, actually dedicating any cores. So this is the one with the eight core CPU, the last 16 inch MacBook Pro, the most highest spec CPU. And the single core score is around about the same um, as what we get right now with the single core for the actual M1 and M1 Pro Max. So so you can see that the cores have been completely shared over. So it's absolutely amazing to get this kind of sort of scoring on a um, kind of a parallel sort of uh, virtual machine that we have right here. So yeah, I'm really, really um, impressed with that. And you can even see here, Apple Silicon, six cores, six processors, eight gigabytes of RAM. That is really, really impressive in what it has given back on us here. So yeah, really, really pleased with that. Uh, like I said, guys, this video was just a kind of a kind of a demo just to show you how to install Windows 11. Uh, you, you can install apps and things like this, like I've just done there with Geekbench. So you can install Office if you wanted to on this and you can install other things. And like I said, in the near future, I will be making a video very soon with this Windows 11 image right here where I'll be installing some games and testing them out to see what the graphics capability are with those six cores uh, what you just saw on that geek bench but for now yeah this is a windows 11 pro inside the preview running on a macbook pro with an m1 pro chipset inside it so what we've got to remember here is that Windows 11 is still in its early stages. You know, at the time of making this video, Windows 11 is not even out yet. And ARM 64 version is even more of a beta than the x86 for sort of AMD and sort of Intel chipsets out there. It's more of a beta kind of release. And it's much more buggy, to be deadly honest. But I'm sure with the likes of and the rise of kind of ARM 64 chipsets like the M1, M1 Pro and M1 Max, Windows and Microsoft will be working more on it to make Windows 11 more stable and better. But the main thing is what we can see here, Windows 11 will run on an M1 or M1 Pro on M1 Max kind of MacBook Pro out there. And it's looking really good and looking really promising. Well, guys, it's time to also wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. And also at the same time as well, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please also hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell. Until next time, guys, I will see you really soon. Bye bye.